metal and glass have in common? Well, theoretically speaking, on atomic level, they're complete opposites. Where glass is amorphous and displays a set of properties characteristic for that atomic arrangement, such as brittleness, not showing sharp distinction between solid and liquid states, and wide ranges of temperatures over which they melt, metals as crystalline solids show long-range atom order, resulting in well-defined edges and surfaces, as well as tendency to have sharp melting points. So, is it possible for material to be both, and if so, which properties would such material have, those of amorphous or crystalline material? The answer to this is a material called metallic glass. Metallic glass incorporates aspects of both metal, crystalline solid, and glass, amorphous solid. This is achieved by melting metals and creating alloys, which are, which are then, by different methods, cooled down rapidly to prevent forming a crystal lattice, giving said alloy amorphous structure. Properties of metallic glasses are direct products of two things, composition and structure. Its structure gives the material improved mechanical properties, better electrochemical properties, enhanced chemical resistance to different kinds of aggressive mediums, and possible hydrogen storage property, and so on. Regarding composition, alloying different metals in different ratios results in different characteristics and then consequently different fields of application. A wide variety of human activities could gain from using metallic glasses, spanning from medical implants to more efficient green catalysts all the way to different kinds of industrial applications. My research is based on studying the electrochemical properties of selected binary internally metallic glasses with emphasis on copper zirconium and copper zirconium aluminium systems. Primarily, I'm focused on discovering how different ratios of metal impact corrosion and biocorrosion properties, as well as catalytic performance of said materials. This characterization will hopefully give us a clearer picture of where and how particular alloys in question could be used and possibly lead us to a conclusion on how to improve some characteristics, be it through alloying or adjusting the synthesis parameters. Good corrosion and particularly biocorrosion properties could lead to this material being utilized, for example, as a medical implant. On the other hand, favorable catalytic properties could potentially lead to using these metallic glasses in processes such as hydrogenation and storing hydrogen fuel, which then carries great potential to replace traditionally used, quite expensive palladium. The information gained from this research, and any further research for that matter in the field of metallic glasses, expands and further familiarizes the use of material that could greatly improve many aspects of human life.